This black and white photograph was taken by Vivian Mayer on the streets of New York in 1953. It is in a square format, typical of the Rolleiflex camera that was used to take it. It shows a man riding a horse through the street from left to right, both in profile. The man has black skin and closely cropped hair. His mouth is slightly open, with a look of relaxed concentration as he rides the horse. He wears a white t-shirt and trousers a shade darker that ride up exposing his ankles, white socks and smart brogue shoes. He maintains a straight posture as his arms, bent, hold the reins of the horse. He does not sit on a saddle, but straight onto the horse's body. The hair of the horse's body is dark in contrast against the man's clothes. With the reins fastened tightly over its face and its mane cut short, it looks calm and domesticated. Bold shadows reveal its sinewy body, its gait suggesting a slow walk rather than a run or canter. Its front two legs are set apart in motion, with one of its back two hooves leaving the ground. Its tail is long and matted, gently cascading down to the back of its hooves. Most of the foreground of the image is the clean, concrete road, shaded by the elevated train tracks that run above the street. Mostly dark and in shadow, the underside of the tracks are a crisscross of girders and metal beams that dominate the top third of the photograph. It stands out in contrast above the rest of the image. Below this, and beyond the man on the horse, the row of buildings parallel to us are terraced brick buildings with tall windows and stairwells descending down from behind the shadowed underside of the elevated train tracks. Below the most exposed of these is a storefront, its large messy window making it appear inactive. The sign above the window reads Luncheonette and Sodas in capital letters, with the word Duval between them in a cursive font. Opposite the front door, a parking meter stands upright. To the left of this, walking on the pavement in front of the store, a blur of a woman in a white coat and hat walks to the left of the frame of the photo, carrying some kind of bundle under her arm. As we follow the pavement to just right of centre in the image, it reaches a street corner and turns onto another street that disappears into the far distance. This street is lined with tall apartment buildings, leaf-covered trees, and 1950s-style cars parked tightly together along both sides of the road.